Hi class, we're here today to talk about climate and how farmers make choices about what plants they grow and where they're going to grow them. We're standing next to a plant that belongs in the Pacific Northwest and farmer Carrie and I are gonna talk about her farm, but I grew up in an area that was much colder in New Jersey and Pennsylvania was where I started farming. And certain things we just could not grow there, farmer Carrie. What plants do you grow here that are really tough, that have to tough it out in the winter? Oh, you know what, Jay? Let me show you our kale plants. Oh, excellent. Yeah? Excellent. I could not grow that in Pennsylvania. We are here in this beautiful kale patch. This is really big stuff that we started last spring. I've got some stuff over there from the, that we started in the summer for the fall. Now, and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you talking about climate or are you talking about season here? Because they're different. Ah, uh, good point. I'm so seasonally oriented because I know our climate. So I think of how the seasons are going. But you're talking about the big picture climate. Yeah. Uh huh. So where I was, we could never get our kale to live through the winter. We could grow it, but we couldn't get it through the winter. So you've done a beautiful job here, but we would never plant to make it, try to make it through the season of the winter because our climate was, was much colder. Too cold. Too extreme. Too cold in the winter. Oh my goodness. Our winters maybe get hard frost for like a week, maximum two weeks, but you had months, right? Oh yeah, tons of sledding and snowball fights. Can I see your winter kale bed? I'm really interested in that. Winter kale bed, this is the winter kale bed. Oh. And over there is more winter kale bed. Let's go look. This okay. was planted in the spring and this was planted in the summer. This variety of kale is called white Russian. And you know how cold it gets in Russia. I do. So this can take really cold weather. We have some red Russian, which actually doesn't take it as well, but this is a variety we plant to be really hardy in our cold weather. But as you said, New Jersey is too cold for it. Now, you know what? I grew up in New Jersey and I remember they had great pumpkins back there. They do. Do they yeah. have the same kind of season for pumpkins? Yeah, it's pretty In that close. climate? Pretty close. As, the, as growing here, I didn't find much of a difference for pumpkins. Huh, huh. What about cucumbers? I can show you some cucumbers we have that are not doing well. Yeah, the, the summers there are super hot. <gasps> and so we can grow cucumbers, but I would imagine not quite as late as you do here. Well, let's go see our cucumbers. Okay. Look what we have growing in the greenhouse. We have these wonderful cucumbers. It's the first week of October and we still have cucumbers. We have created here in the hoop house a different climate. Yeah, they're even flowering. I know, isn't that amazing? I can show you some outside. They're not doing so well. And look, our tomatoes, we still have tomatoes here. They are all gone outside because of the light. I mean, it doesn't rain in here. What's, how do you deal with that? Well, we have a very nice irrigation system. Oh, okay. So we have to irrigate it with our tea tape and that's how we keep it, keep it um, moist. And then the solar, the passive solar creates a warmer climate in here. So no matter what the season is, we can grow more here because we've created a different climate. Does it create any problems that you have to overcome? Actually, I can't think of any. Great. Yeah, Great. it's wonderful because we can have food at the beginning of the season before we can have it out there and at the end of the season once that's done. So we have extended the season we can grow in because we've changed the climate. Excellent. Yeah? What a good idea. Yeah, love them. I wish we could have more and more and more. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a look at those plants outside that are yes, warm weather Yes, let's plants? go look at Now here you can see, even here, they're starting, oh, you can hear that crunching a little bit. It's starting to turn a little dead right here. Very sad. That's normal because it's going to die eventually. It's going to get too cold. But I'll show you outside. Mm, they're done. This zucchini is in way better shape than mine. When did you plant it? Oh, I planted that in July because I know that the zucchini I plant earlier, mm. they puff out. So I always plant first of July. I plant zucchini so I can have late September, 
October zucchini before it gets too cold. Because you know, once the equinox happens, third week of September, it gets darker, less light, gets colder, and then all these plants, except for of course our wonderful kale, and some others will show you, they're done, done, done. Yep. So, but we managed to have a milder September and we've got a nice big zucchini. Man, I wish I would have done that. Mine I planted in April. Yeah, oh Inside. my goodness, they are really. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> so are these cucumbers. See, they're I can outside. See that. Yeah, we had so many great cucumbers here. A lot were eaten this summer, huh? Yep, yep, yep. We had so many, probably hundreds off these plants. But now it's that time of year. They're all done. And, you know, one thing I wanted to show you, we have a really interesting thing here at the farm, which is this hillside. And I have to plant on the hillside differently than I do up here on the main field. And I'm going to show you why. So Farmer Kerry, you're telling me you have different climates within this farm? You must really have to pay attention to what's going on. Oh my goodness, look at those trees right there. See those trees? Yeah. And then look at that shadow. Yeah? So that shadow, it's late afternoon now. Just imagine in winter when the sun doesn't even get above those trees. This whole garden is completely in the shade. I have, I have documented when it snows, uh -huh. the snow doesn't melt. How about that? Over so, here? Does yeah. it melt over there? It totally melts over there, but there's snow all the way up here. So like these little sorrel, they're a perennial. They can handle it, but other plants that don't like it so cold, they're not going to be happy here. And the soil is very cold longer into the spring. So I can't plant things here as quickly in the spring as I can plant up there because this is a little microclimate that's mm. been caused by the shade, the lack of solar energy coming onto this soil and warming it up. So I have a little microclimate on this hillside. I like that word, microclimate. Yeah, it makes yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Well, you know, a lot of gardeners here on Whidbey Island, they have to look around at where they live and their garden to see what kind of microclimate they're in. Mm. Because even though we're all in the same kind of northwest climate, the trees could make it colder, and sometimes other things could make it warmer, all affecting how they grow. So, Farmer Kerry, what does make up climate? You know, that's such an interesting question, and I want to show you a special plant that actually originated in a different climate that we can grow here. Oh, cool. So, Jay... This is a mouse melon, otherwise known as a Mexican sour gherkin. It actually originates in Mexico and Central America, a totally different climate, but it grows here if we plant it late. Now, that makes me think all the different things that make up climate. Yeah, it's so different down in Mexico and yeah. Central America. It's a lot hotter, the temperature, all year round, it's a lot hotter and over long periods of time. What uh -huh, else? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, well, different rainfall. Yeah, and the humidity down there. Whew. Mm-hmm. I, mm -hmm. I don't think most Northwesterners could stand it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So every climate has different rainfall, different temperatures, day lengths. Oh, yeah. Different, you know. Much more even down there. N night, day, that affects the climate. And the wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so many different things affect the climate. Now, everybody's been talking about climate change. So what's changing with climate change? What do you think is changing about the climate? 